John. No worries, sir. President, this is uh, Dr. Thomas Godar, who's well, the ALA there. president. Thank you very much to you. My pleasure to be here. His wife, Mary Hello. Godar. Hello there. Thank you so much. Pleased to have you. Jim Swamley, who is the managing director. Oh, yes. Hello. And June Swamley. Hello. Very nice to meet you. Valerie Shields, the director of communications. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Lorraine's mother, who I know you've seen before. Yes, <laughs> That's right. Dick's oh, mother. Hi, nice to see you again this year. Well, good to see you. You're looking well. You're good. You've got a vacation coming up. <laughs> <laughs> a long one. Tom. I'm the other one. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Good to see you. Um, good to see you. Well, okay. We're supposed think, to do it together. Oh, together? And get oh, yeah. you smother on Oh, yes, present you with the... Uh, okay, and we're supposed to do this one, too? Seals. This is a seal thing, so you know it's nothing tricky. Mm, then. Yes. Okay. How do I get that on a letter, though? <laughs> <laughs> Print big. And these are the seals. Oh, no. that's our second year doing this, and we're yes. so glad to get the opportunity to have you help us well, publicize it. Well, I'm very pleased yeah. to be able to do that. And uh, did I show you the new trick I got for you? No. You don't, you don't want to know this one? <laughs> this is the Eiffel Tower. This, yeah. is, it's a diff, this is the most difficult one. Thank you. It's an Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't even make one of those things just spin. Well, it takes a little bit of work. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, right, now, let's get a group. We're going to yeah. do for everybody to come in here. Yeah. Okay. Doing some time with your family. That is kind of some mixed yeah. 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 Did you try our wine? Well, right. you ever try our wine? Give me some smothered rose wine. Okay. This is fine. Last, last year, last year. You last year. Pat yes. Paulson yes. will ask about the wine too. If you tried some of Pat Paulson's yes. presidential. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Hold on one second here. Oh, that's a presentation. Yes, yeah. Mr. <laughs> Mr. President, on behalf of your many years of commitment to the American Lung Association, for which we are thankful, and as well for Mrs. Reagan, who has served both as Christmas Seal Chairman in California and as an honorary chairman for the Anti-Marijuana Program, we want to thank her very much for her commitment as well as yours, and we'd like to present you this scarf with our respect. Well, I shall take a tour with great joy, and I was going to mention that Really, she's the one who should be here. She was one year state chairman in California and is the honorary chairman of your anti-marijuana campaign. We're very proud of her. Well, well, I'm pleased to do that. And, uh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's bigger for you to see it, but I thought you'd prefer a smaller one. What is, this is a check, a personal check to contribute to the uh, Christmas Seal campaign. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I got to run down the I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Here you can. You can catch this right away. <laughs> you want to say thank you. 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 And of course, a praise to all of you for this cause. And I know it's it's sort of the oldest, isn't it? This yes, is the oldest of all three health agencies. We've got a lot of imitators now for right. yes, we have other indeed. worthy causes. But uh, but Miss Miss Bissell but they don't started, have a president right? Behind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've done your Emily Bissell. I heard that last time. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mr. Well, thank you very much. Good to have a little time with you again. Well, you done a great job. job. <laughs> See, that's your job. Like Next year, I'll just have to go out and look for my Christmas seal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of it. Hey, good to see you. You're one of our honored leaders. It would be our pleasure to be my time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but you're going to see a couple of things going here. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
watching off of me now. Yes, right. That's pretty good. But I'd like to give it. It's a smudge bird. We didn't have a special. I took one of them home. Thanks again. Do you remember the meeting we had one time, a long time ago, when you were governor? With Bob Holt? Yes. Back there, it was at, on this stage, and I said, I, 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 I said, you have that conviction? I said, I can't wait for you to come around and think the way I do. And he said, Tom, I used to be a bleeding heart nipple once myself. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mayor, hello there. We're it's very good. Thank you. See each other several times. In fact, we've given the five minutes of time. H.R. Crawford, Council Alfonso Jackson is the Director of Housing for District 4. Bob Woodson, you know, sir. This time is the President. Wait a minute. Kim agreed, but apparently she got the claim because she's been out of Northeast. <laughs> She's coming out of an airplane. She's probably saving yeah. her. Seven, 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 seven. <laughs> that was a well, bad talk of getting some money, I guess. Huh? Chuck, how are you? Hi, Harry. Well, I think this, I'm sorry she isn't here because I know the part she played in all yes. of that. Well, we took a chance in 1981. Kimmy came and decided to about ton of management. Signed a contract for Native uh, Creek with the project that got started, and we gave it a touch of assistance and help. And it's turned out now I'm doing this found in the Rift Administration, we're now able to get the home ownership card, you know, which is a dream I'm sure that all Americans like to do, whether you're low income, yes. moderate income, is own some housing, something like a piece of the rock. And uh, we own it. You feel better about it, take care of it. And there are a lot of public housing things. We have 13 ready yeah. now to move towards ownership. Oh, that's great. Based upon the knowledge I didn't know that. That's great. We have 13 more. <coughs> in about two, two weeks, we'll have one in St. Louis that's ready to be converted. Mm -hmm. And then New Orleans, uh, and then Cleveland, and then Chicago. Because they'd be surprised, if they, if they, not very surprised, but a tremendous amount of talent is in these developments. And people are there because of certain things sometimes beyond their control. There are a few who abuse the system. But they're bright, they work hard, they don't want to be on welfare, they want to help themselves. They rather supposed to teach them how to fish than fish for them. So, uh, Where I first ran into this was in the, uh, uh, over there, Lee Kuan Yew, in Singapore. Uh, yes. A great statesman there, and the first thing he was driving me around showing me, and he told me that, no, they go to work, they don't want to be a landlord, don't build it. <laughs> and they go to work to, to get the people to buy the units. Mr. President, we'd like to present uh, to you on behalf of the, the mayor and the National Center and the residents of Kennewood Parkside, a hammer that uh, signals the, uh, the renovations that's going on with support coming from your administration. You put over $23 million on Kennewood Parkside to, uh, to restore that facility. And it's the first time in the history of this country that multifamily unit of public housing has been converted to ownership by the residents. And Hello. we thank you for your support uh, by appearing on our television show and a number of other things. Well, and this is a symbol of uh, knocking down the old and you coming in. We want more than that. That's a poem, wasn't it? <laughs> well, the, the, the timing is wonderful on account of the Congress. It's just coming back. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, the Vice President has to deal with that when he next year, <laughs> January. <laughs> The vice president, and this is for the vice president as well for his support. He mentioned it in his debate. Bob, I need one of these. Something like this. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Thanks for George. Yes. Well, he mentioned his debate, and it's a part of the Republican platform, and so that the legacy that you've established will be continued on. So we look forward to that. Thank you, Mr. President. Great. Okay. On behalf of the residents of West Side, Mr. President, thank you very much. Well, personally, I thank everybody and all of you who had a part in this. I think it's a wonderful thing and to hear now how swiftly it's spreading. Yes, 13 it's other developments around the nation. That's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be really
bit of different kind of uh, environment. We see it already mm -hmm. out in Kenilworth. Uh, we had a, all the residents represented at the meeting that when they, yeah. at the event. They came from all over the nation, and they were just, just inspired them. We had over 300 people attend the event, and some of them from Rochester, New Orleans, all over the nation. And Time Magazine is doing a three-page spread next week on the event and talking about the conversion. So we, we started a movement. I think that's great. You know, back in the beginning of the Great Depression, uh, Roosevelt, and that was where the first home, home program help came in, and it was because at that time there was a real fear of the society coming apart and rioting and so forth, and they found out <coughs> nothing that makes you patriotic as owning that chunk of land. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of the things we like about the fact that, that this development is being converted to ship is that we have serious problems. Mr. President, Ricardo Bofield, yes. President of the Well, 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 on behalf, the of the of, on behalf of the people of Cuba and on behalf of those who fight for human rights, I want to thank you for everything you've done for us. Well, I would like to thank you, your courage and what you've done has certainly strengthened the human rights movement worldwide. Pero eh, de poco hubiera valido nuestro esfuerzo si no hubiéramos contado con el apoyo de gobernantes como el presidente Reagan y no hubiéramos contado con el apoyo de pueblos como el pueblo norteamericano. Our efforts would have been of little use if we hadn't had the support of rulers like you, Mr. Reagan, or the uh, people of the United States. Well, we shall continue to support that cause worldwide. Nosotros seguiremos apoyando esa causa en el mundo entero. Nosotros seguiremos también adelante y no defraudaremos nunca la esperanza que ustedes han puesto en nosotros. We will continue with our efforts and we will never let down the hopes that you have placed in us. And I know the persecution that you've endured and the years of imprisonment. We admire your courage in being able to stand all of that and continue doing what you've done. Nosotros admiramos su valor y el hecho que usted haya continuado haciendo lo que hace. Todavía quedan muchos prisioneros dentro de Cuba y muchas personas cuyas vidas están amenazadas y tenemos que hacer por ellos. There are so many prisoners in Cuba, many people whose lives are threatened and we have to protect them. Yes, and for too long there hasn't been a spotlight really turned on to that for the world to see, but thanks to you and a few others like you. Thanks to you for your help. We shall continue. Nosotros pensamos que la causa de los derechos humanos en el mundo entero, pues, en este fin del siglo XX, tiene grandes promesas. We think that this cause of human rights throughout the world is very promising now that the end of the century is approaching. Y es tal vez la gran aventura del hombre en el siglo XXI, el reino de los derechos humanos en el mundo. And perhaps that will be the major undertaking of mankind in the 20th, uh, 21st century to make sure that human rights prevail throughout the world. Yes. Así es. Y podemos decir que la administración del presidente Riga quedará inscrita con letras de oro en esta batalla en pro de los derechos humanos que se ha librado en la segunda mitad del siglo XX. And we can definitely say that your government, your administration, President Reagan, will go down in golden letters in the books of history in terms of the defense of human rights. Well, thank you very much. Muchas gracias por sus palabras. Sencillamente lo único que quiero agregar es que estas palabras no no son de cortesía, que son palabras sinceras y sentidas. And I want you to know that I'm speaking not as a matter of courtesy, but as something that's heartfelt. On that. The strength of your heart has been displayed too many times for me to doubt it. 
le agradezco sus palabras y la fortaleza suya ha quedado en evidencia demasiadas veces como para que yo las pueda contar. Gracias, Presidente. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye, 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 Bye. 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 B